Hey, what's up, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, I'll be talking about a fragrance from Diptyque called Tamdao. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Thanks so much for joining me today as always. I really do appreciate it and hope you're all doing awesome. Diptyque is a French brand that was founded in 1961 by three friends who happened to be artists. They opened on Boulevard Saint Germain in Paris. And at first they didn't sell fragrances, they sold home furnishings and printed fabrics. It wasn't until 1968 that they launched their first fragrance, which was called Low, and that was based on old recipes of English fragrances for the home. In total, the brand has 61 fragrances, many of which are cult favorites by many frag heads. When I first got into the online fragrance community, everyone spoke about Tam Dao. That was like the sandalwood that you had to have. When it came to a thick fragrance, everyone spoke of Filosicos. That's a classic from them as well. This one is a newer fragrance. It was launched a few years ago. It's called Eau de Sans. It's an orange blossom fragrance. This was actually released in Eau de Toilette in 2003. This Eau de Parfum version that we're talking about today was released in 2013. So got a little spray on myself here. Tandao Eau de Parfum. This is a pretty simple fragrance. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles or nuances. All in all, it's a sandalwood fragrance, bottom line. I get some cedar from this. I get a little bit of a green, mossy, or cypress type of undertone, but it's way in the background. Mostly, it's about the cedar and sandalwood. A nice, creamy, woody fragrance. The sandalwood is very calm, serene, and almost even meditative. It's not a loud fragrance. It sits kind of close to the skin, but has a nice trail as you walk by. I can smell myself like for the first hour. After that, I can't smell myself, but others around me did smell it at work when I wore it, which was actually today. It was my scent of the day. Is it like the Eau de Toilette, I don't know. I haven't tried that one. It seems from what I've read on Fragrantica and online that people seem to prefer the Eau de Parfum over the Eau de Toilette, but I haven't tried that one, so I can't confirm. It's a really nice fragrance when you want something just easy, calm, and soothing. It's not a loud Santal like Santal 33. It's creamy and much quieter. It lasts on skin for me about four to five hours projecting for the first hour better than the rest of the wear but all in all it's a really nice sandalwood. This is something that I think I would reach for when I want something not too loud not too complicated but still smell good. I think it can be worn year-round maybe not in the hot humid summer but definitely on a summer night in the spring you can definitely rock this one. If you're a fan of sandalwood, definitely do check out Tandao from Diptyque. This is part of my bundle deal at Max Aroma. I've got Tandao and I've got two Banana Republic, Dark Cherry and Amber, and the Tobacco and Tonka. You can pick up all three of those at Max Aroma. This retails for 180. At Max Aroma, you can get it for 115 unboxed and 132 with a box. Well, my friends, that's all I have for you today on Tam Dao by Diptyque, short and sweet like I always do. I'd love to offer a 10 ml can to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today or what your favorite Diptyque fragrance is. That's it for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on the reviews, the content, giveaways, and all the fragrant fun always happening right here at BFL. 
take care, stay blessed, and I will see you guys at the next video.